Hello and welcome to A Part of History, a channel dedicated to making mini documentaries about historical figures and events of the past. These people changed the way that we live to this day. Behind me over my shoulder is the location of a settlement of a divorce of one of the most hated women in 1936. Born Bessie Wallace Warfield, you may know her as Wallace Simpson. Born on June the 19th, 1896 in Pennsylvania, Wallace was an American socialite that gained the affections of Edward, the Prince of Wales. He was the son of King George V and heir to the throne. After George's death in 1936, Edward himself became King Edward VIII. Now the reason why Wallace was so disliked is very simple. Edward chose to abdicate the throne of the British monarchy in order to marry this twice divorced lady. The building itself has been derelict in Ipswich for 19 years. It's a bit of an eyesore, to be honest, it's right in the town centre. But where I am standing was basically where the public executions and hangings used to take place. Back to the story. In order for Wallace to be able to gain a divorce in the UK, she actually had to reside here for a few weeks. She chose Felixstowe, knowing that it was close enough to London to be able to get easy access there and back, but far enough away to stop the reporters and the news trying to take photos of her during what was the biggest news story in the world. It was actually reported that the king himself did visit Felixstowe and he landed on the cliffs behind. He flew in on his private plane, just spoke to a local resident and he said his granddad could actually remember the king coming to visit and he actually had a pint and a pub down the road, which we are now going to go and visit. The views here won't have changed much in the recent history, apart from maybe the models of car. I've come to the Fludges pub, where the king himself was known to come and have a pint whilst he was contemplating abdicating as king of England. I find it fascinating that I have the same view as he did all those years ago. Cheers. In Felixstowe, Wallace found herself worlds apart from her normal high societal social life. Even though Edward had managed to come to an agreement with the British press to keep quiet about the scandalous affair, it did not stop the rest of Europe and America from hounding Wallace's every move. Eventually, every trip that the couple would take, they were hounded and heckled by onlookers and by what I suppose in modern standards would be the paparazzi of today. One of these trips to Europe, which was probably the most controversial, was when the couple were pictured with Adolf Hitler. Rumours were spreading that Wallace was actually passing on intelligence to the Nazi regime. On October the 27th, 1936, the divorce was finally settled. The instrument of abdication was signed on the 10th of December, 1936, and the very next day, the former king addressed his nation. to carry the heavy burden of responsibility and to discharge my duties as king as I would wish to do without the help and support of the woman I love. And I want you to know that the decision I have made has been mine and mine alone. This was a thing I had to judge entirely for myself. The other person most nearly concerned has tried up to the last to persuade me to take a different course. The more I've researched this, the more I've realised that this relationship was far from normal. But despite this, they got married on the 3rd of June 1937 in France. 
They stayed together until Edward died on the 28th of May 1972. Wallace would live out her final years with dementia and died on April the 24th, 1986. And the rest, as they say, is a part of history. Take 576. Hello and welcome to A Part of History, a channel dedicated to filming in public and it just keeps getting ruined by bloody cars. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello and welcome to a part. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that actually coming up here? <laughs> sake. Right. Oh. <laughs> no, not this time. 